I'm Nikola Kostic from Diplo Foundation. I'm CEO at uh, that company and I'm respons responsible for all software development. Uh, don't trust verify. Uh, today's uh, theme is about uh, digital certificates stored into a blockchain. Uh, first of all, I have to explain why we uh, developed that. Uh, our company uh, has uh, a lot of activities. First of all, capaci capacity development uh, supports uh, uh, countries, uh, country development country. Uh, we follow many conferences and uh, we uh, have very good and important uh, site for tracking events around the world, diplomatic events, first of all. Uh, we are uh, we track mostly diplomatic activities and uh, research publications all are related related to link between uh, diplomacy and internet. Internet governance is one of the most important thema for us and of course we have car courses. Uh, our cor cor courses uh, mainly uh, covers, again, uh, diplomats. Uh, we have uh, our students uh, from around the world. It is uh, online learning. And uh, many ambassadors uh, attend our courses uh, at uh, uh, different levels. One of the most important level is a postgraduate diploma course. Uh, because that after our course uh, as any other educa educational institution we have to issue certificate for uh, our students and uh, we did many years uh, in Sunderway. We printed a certificate and uh, sent to our students. Uh, it is standard analog way and uh, we are aware of that. Uh, uh, we are in the middle of transition from uh, analog to digital and for example uh, music transferred to digital. Uh, many hi-fi uh, purists said that it is, it is impossible to achieve quality but it is done now. Uh, photography also, uh, photography purists said that uh, it is impossible to achieve uh, the, the resolution of uh, analog uh, film. It is done now, definitely. So uh, maybe we say that uh, a standard certificate printed by an institution is obsolete, maybe obsolete. Uh, I'll try to display here our uh, solution for that uh, and maybe it is our uh, future uh, future solution uh, to cover all our courses. At this moment we have a uh, standard way to cover our uh, certificates and of course this completely new one uh, way to store uh, certificates inside block Bitcoin blockchain. Why to go? Uh, user has control of its own uh, certificate. It, it is so easy to verify because uh, when you apply for a, uh, a job, you can simply uh, give your URL to our verification site and uh, that company uh, will be able to easily check your certificate. Uh, certificate could last after disappearing of that company. Uh, sometimes some institutions simple vanished and uh, if you try to call something uh, by phone to check certificate it is impossible. It is probably the way to store that certificate for forever. And uh, at the end of course uh, blockchain is uh, a very safe uh, way to store transactions transactions in because that uh, uh, the certificate stored inside Bitcoin blockchain is very, very safe.
First of all, just to explain the current situation, and uh, uh, we, we covered uh, most of our courses with this solution. Uh, it is standard PDF. We, we could say it is semi-digital uh, solution. Uh, we create templates. Uh, uh, logged users uh, could access uh, uh, the uh, certificates, uh, print that certificates, and uh, access that certificate <coughs> anywhere by any of devices. Uh, of course, uh, all certificates could be emailed to all students around the world. It is okay solution. It uh, it works. It works for many year, years. Uh, and uh, but we talk about standard PDF. Uh, it is so easy to hack and change PDF. You know that. Uh, it is so easy to print fake copy of that certificate if you have an uh, uh, example of uh, our PDF uh, certif certificate. Uh, also, it is very slow process uh, of education of uh, uh, employer company to check uh, that certificate with our company. Phone call, email, etc., etc. Uh, I worked as, as I worked as a training manager uh, at one education uh, company many years ago, and uh, we had problem with that already uh, because uh, I noticed that uh, our certificates sometimes some people tried to copy. After that, I uh, tried to protect as much as possible. Uh, it was a long time ago, and. Uh, it was not digital era, and uh, I tried with uh, hologram. I had to ask uh, at the time authority uh, to allow that for us. Also, I used you will lack. Also, use uh, uh, emb embossed uh, uh, circuit. But at the day time, it was good enough. Now, with digital, it's so so easy to fake. Uh, uh, analog product. So, so uh, it is completely uh, logical to move on and go forward with uh, uh, digital solution. Uh, MIT Lab, uh, Media Lab uh, offered and proposed one solution uh, how to uh, do that and uh, made proof of concept how to. Uh, try to uh, issue certificates and uh, use that uh, uh, every day. Uh, first of all, we have to ask our students to send public key to us. Uh, we create certificate, store into blockchain, send back to user student uh, URL, and uh, after that, uh, that student can uh, will be able to prove uh, the certificate to any one company around the world. It is a raw procedure uh, how to do that. Uh, let me explain. This is uh, how we ask. Uh, actually, we ask uh, our students to use that site, for example and create a Bitcoin blockchain public key and keep private key for website. It is, it is uh, how to say, it is moral solution. Uh, of course, it is possible to, to create a completely automatic solution and create all public uh, Bitcoin uh, addresses for our students, but it is not moral and it is not Okay, we have to ask our students, do you want digital certificate? Because that digital certi certificate will be public at our site. And uh, all students, of course, say yes. After that, we ask for public key, to generate public key and set in the profile. Next steps is, uh, uh, are necessary to, to, to do that. 
Uh, we need, of course, a certificate uh, schema. Uh, it is the standard how to store certificate data into JSON file. We're talking about standard JSON file by uh, ruled by schema. Uh, and uh, that JSON file, of course, uh, we have to use it in a little bit different way later when we want to store cache of that JSON file. I'll explain that later. Uh, we have to issue unassigned certificates. Uh, we first create template uh, and uh, after that uh, make all unsigned uh, certificates for whole uh, class of students. It is, uh, how to say, usually we do not issue just one certificate. It is not uh, logical. It costs about five dollars, for example. It is not main problem, but it is logical to use group of students, usually class, one class of students, to issue whole certificates at one bench. Uh, during issue uh, when we issue certificate we create hash of uh, json certificate store and store it into blockchain at and at the end of course we need a uh, certificate viewer actually our verification site and uh, with that site and url uh, the student uh, will be able to prove that certificate Different data uh, are uh, necessary to to enter uh, during uh, certification <coughs> process. Uh, of course, uh, you, uh, issue your uh, logo, signature, uh, name of organization, uh, director, etc., uh, etc. Et description. So it is all important uh, during certification process. Uh, and for example, it is sample of certificate template. It is the first phase when we start to create one bench of certificates. Sorry. You can recognize uh, elements, email, name, etc., etc., etc. I'll explain later more. Uh, about that, that fields. Header, of course, that header is the most important. Uh, image file is uh, uh, converted base 64 and stored inside JSON because that JSON uh, holds all necessary data to display that certificate at site image. All images are inside JSON. So you cannot fake that JSON file. Uh, it is completely impossible because I uh, uh, created the whole process of certification and verification and back. Uh, it is so complex procedure and uh, it is completely impossible to fake that JSON file. Uh, we can give that JSON file to student. We can give that JSON file to you and ask you to try to fake that JSON file. And, and I'm pretty sure it is impossible. It is more friendly way to, to see that certificate. So I, I'm talking about unassigned certificate at this moment. Uh, that certificate holds all necessary data about organization, about student, but it is not yet signed into blockchain. After signing, we will add that signature at the bottom of this JSON file. This is footer of uh, unassigned uh, certificate, still no signature. It is simple uh, presentation. So uh, next phase and very important phase is how to store that uh, certificate, actually hash of all certificates in inside 
blockchain, Bitcoin blockchain. As you know, uh, uh, you, can, uh, you cannot store too much data inside Bitcoin blockchain. It is not logical operation, of course, but there is one uh, standard way of return field and you can store up to 80 characters. Uh, at one moment it was 40, now it is 80 again. Uh, so uh, actually we uh, do not make transaction with money. How many of you use uh, Bitcoin blockchain? Okay, you know what I'm talking about, I suppose. So uh, uh, actually at that moment when we are try to store data, string of character, hash, uh, we do not make real transaction. Uh, no target address to send money. It is null transactions with zero value. I'll display that later with one sample. So uh, we store hash of all certificates using Merkle Merkle tree. Uh, Merkle tree uh, holds all certificates, and uh, I can display that here. You can see here one, two, three, etc. certificate. We first of all uh, convert that certificates into JSON linked, linked data format. Uh, we normalized that JSON because it is necessary for process of verification. Later, uh, we have to compare uh, stored JSON at our computer with uh, hash of that JSON and if we do not normalize that JSON we could expect problems. So we are talking about hash of normalized JSON files and standard Merkle tree one hash, the other hash, one plus two, hash again, hash again, plus plus and we at the end uh, has Merkle root hash. So if we follow this path, this proof path, how to come from target ha hash to Merkle root. It is very important for uh, verification process later because we have to store inside signature this node, this hash, Merkle root hash and whole path from target hash to Merkle root. During process of verification, we check that validity of that path and Merkle root and target. Because that I said, it is almost bulletproof solution uh, because it is so, so hard to, to, to fake anything uh, inside of that process. For now, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so, issuing, issuing uh, certificates uh, signing. Uh, we have to create signature. Signature has uh, next nodes. Uh, uh, we have Merkle uh, target hash. It is hash of our JSON file. We have Merkle root. Merkle root, okay. And source ID, it is uh, ID of uh, blockchain transaction, stored inside that, type, and we have proof. Proof usually actually is uh, entered with right, left, left, right, etc. It uh, talks about that, how to achieve uh, from target to root, uh, how to achieve uh, root from target, uh, it is real, real path. So, uh, transactions talks about 60,000 Satoshi, about $5 at this moment, I think, uh, and uh, covers up to 2,000 certificates. Uh, we never issued that number, of course, I think maximum was 100. So, that's it about signing. When we sign, 
every JSON file we enter inside that JSON file at, at, uh, as last node that signature. And you can see now here, for example, complete path proof. Proof is here, anchor and source ID is here, target hash, and of course, Merkle root. When you have JSON file after that process, you can hold for your archive and verify at any other site with blockchain certification process, Bitcoin. Also we have at our site, if you have a uh, certificate JSON file, you can verify that file at our site, verification site, though, because it is standard procedure. And uh, we had to observe the rules and uh, of that procedure. It is not completely covered with uh, documentation and uh, uh, standards. Uh, you have a little bit uh, use reverse engineering, for example, to solve that. I, it, it is necessary for me, and I spent a lot of time to match completely exact same the process uh, proposed by MIT. Not all at documentation, definitely. Uh, JSON LD, JSON uh, linked data procedure is most important for that. It's a very complex process to normalize JSON and it, it is very important. Okay, a little bit more friendly, more friendly display of that. You can see left, right proof is here and complete, but no secrets here. It is public document, like transactions. Transaction also is public. First of all, I, let me explain briefly <laughs> and very quickly. Uh, standard MIT procedure was something like this. It is Python-based solution. Uh, I'm using Python, but it is not my primary programming tool. Uh, there are Python programmers here? No. <laughs> I, I don't think nothing bad about Python, of course. Uh, but uh, whole procedure and uh, all tools are written in Python. And you'll see, you have to use command line. Okay, no problem for me. You can set configuration files, again, from command line. Okay, no problem for me. You have to use Docker, because inside Docker you have issuer. No problem for me. But definitely it is complex process. At the end, I end up with screen like this one. And my director asked me, can you instruct our course uh, certificate manager to use that? Come on, it is impossible. It is not user-friendly solution. It is proof of concept. Uh, highly skilled programmer can use that. Highly skilled administrator with Python knowledge can use that. But certificate manager, it is administration of uh, our company, come on. So, uh, I started to think about better solution, of course, and uh, because the, one, the only one person at company was me to issue certificates. It is not my responsibility, I'm CIO, I'm working with software, and it is not my responsibility, it is not moral to wait on me and uh, to issue certificates for students. I can do that, but it is not okay, definitely. That is a dedicated person, per person for that at company. So I try to make something better. Because we use at our company mostly Drupal. Everything, everything is on Drupal, uh, main sites, etc. Uh, I try to make better solution 
uh, user-friendly solution because all people in company around the world use use uh, our sites on Drupal. It is very friendly environment for that people because that I decided to use Drupal for that solution. So I ended up with Next. We had to talk about security here, of course, because uh, MIT said, okay, your, your machine with uh, issuer, with Docker, should be, uh, should be, uh, should be uh, covered with uh, special security, special locked room, special safe, etc. Uh, it is impossible to work uh, in our way uh, 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 with uh, that concept, because that uh, I ended up with next solution. Our we have two Linux management system at this moment, main, very very robust and uh, large system uh, at Learn Diplomacy Edu, uh, and uh, because that I put issuer site Drupal site behind VPN. Good enough. You cannot access outside VPN if you have VPN access, you can see that site simple as that. And I think it is it is good security for that site. Also, you cannot issue certificates if you do not put USB stick with our private private company private Bitcoin Bitcoin key into that machine physically. So, that machine is inside our office. We have a lot of servers in our uh, office. One of that machines is that machine. And if that course certificate manager wants to issue, to start certification uh, process, uh, he must call me or somebody in the office to put USB stick. So we have at this moment that kind of security. We can we can say uh, just let me to explain. If we want to make transaction uh, at uh, Bitcoin blockchain, we have to uh, put in that transaction our private key because we have to pay for that transaction and uh, uh, to uh, Bitcoin will take money from our account. Without private key, it is impossible to issue certificates. Simple. Because that it is usually removed from this site. So, how it works at the end? It is behind VPN, but that site asks our LMS for new courses and students. Standard import export. It is XML from here, importer here. Probably we, you use that every day at your application. It works like a charm at Drupal. And then we have here new class, new course imported. Course certificate manager receives notification. Simple as that. When course certificate manager receives uh, notification, uh, he could log in at issuer site to finish process of certification. And I try to make that as simple as possible to avoid any question, to avoid any problem, to avoid anything about, uh, it doesn't work, uh, I have problem, please tell me again how to do that, etc. There is a simple list with steps. You cannot, you can add it, course, to add image, to add s signature, to add uh, director name, etc. I can display here, for example, all data is here, but you only you have to follow next procedure. You can issue an assigned 
certificates first, here, click here, you got this finished. After that, you can, you can issue and sign certificates, and at the end, everything is finished. The last step is to edit and publish that course. Simple as that. After that, after that, verification site can pull data from issuer site. Also, verification site by Drupal Cron job asks periodically for new courses and students. Simple. The whole process is very simple and reliable. So, and after that, we can go to our verification site. Standard Drupal site with a list of courses. Class course with students. And simply you need to click that button and we have four levels of verification. First of all, we'll check certificate hash. Does that certificate hash match hash stored inside JSON file itself? First of all, we'll remove signature node. You remember we, uh, we added signature at the bottom of JSON file. JSON file is stored at our machine. It is standard way of verification. JSON file is at our machine. During the verification process, we remove signature node, repeat complete hashing procedure with all elements, and compare hash. If it is OK, it is one of, uh, one of checking. The next one is uh, Metlopat. Of course, we have to check does Metlopat match with PAT entered inside our uh, JSON file. Actually, can we reach a root, Metlopat root, from target using that PAT? Simple. Somebody could try to change the, that PAT inside JSON file, for example. So it is impossible to 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 to, to hack that method definitely. And uh, of course, uh, we check uh, Merkle root uh, stored inside uh, JSON file with Merkle root stored at Bitcoin blockchain transaction. So we have Merkle root is stored inside signature. And Metcroot is the only one hash stored at Bitcoin blockchain. And Metcroot has all necessary data all about all our certificates in that batch. Second step in uh, st step is uh, checking certificate uh, for expiration date. For some reason, it could be uh, a problem with date, of course. Somebody tried to change dates. Or we could issue, issue certificate with uh, uh, expiration date. Simple as that. For example, Microsoft likes <coughs> that to uh, issue certificates for your uh, Microsoft professional, something like that. Uh, and it is valid for one or two years. Or I had in my history that uh, exams and uh, after a few years it was completely out of date. <laughs> so expir expiration date is that. Simple. Uh, we have a revocation list. If any reason to, to revoke 
uh, issued certificate. Uh, somebody said, or, or we could uh, recognize some of the students cheated to the, during exam, and but we already issued certificate. We should revoke that certificate from the list. We have simple JSON list to put ID of the JSON file and uh, say it is not valid certificate anymore. And uh, of course, uh, uh, the last step is to verify uh, the institution. Uh, we check uh, our key, we check uh, address and compare uh, date of transactions and uh, how old is our uh, uh, public key, creation of our, our public key. It is one of steps to of our verification process. It is sample of code, uh, very straight uh, procedure, uh, one level to, to another one to, to check. Uh, let me explain a little bit uh, uh, about uh, Bitcoin blockchain uh, uh, record transaction. Uh, it is uh, possible to check that uh, manually by your browser. Uh, no secrecy in that process. Uh, it is nothing, no black box for that. Uh, you can use uh, source ID. Source, source ID here, actually it is source ID, it is uh, ID of that transactions. It is stored inside JSON file. And you can use that URL, raw text, blockchain info, raw text, and that source ID, and you'll get complete info about that transaction. You can see it is our public key of our company. And uh, it is first node usually who pays in Bitcoin blockchain uh, tra transactions. But the other one uh, node, the second one with index one, uh, has zero value, no money. No money inside that node, no target address. Inside, in, instead of that, we put here Hash, Merkle root hash is here. First four characters we have to remove. It is how to say uh, sign to miners uh, uh, about that transaction. It is store, store, uh, the certificate is stored inside that. No. Uh, Implementation. We had uh, large diplomatic conference at Malta two years ago, celebrating 15 years of company, and we uh, issued uh, for all uh, attendees, uh, for all visitors, uh, very important visitors because it is uh, diplomats around the world, from around the world, uh, ambassadors, uh, prime ministers, uh, uh, presidents of country, uh, etc. Et uh, we have issued certificates for that uh, conference. Uh, we created QR code and printed, of course, uh, uh, that certificate with QR code. And during conference, it was so easy for diplomats to check uh, validity of that certificate uh, by this QR code and our verification site. Uh, why? It is a good opportunity. It was conference, the future of diplomacy. Uh, uh, it is a good opportunity to promote digital certification process inside that society, diplomats. <coughs> uh, after that conference uh, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs at Malta, I was questioned, questioned about an one hour about that process. Uh, diplomats are usually very, very suspicious about new technology. They ask me everything. And one more question, of course, was what about if Bitcoin blockchain disappears? 
oh, it is hard to to say nothing except okay, probably internet also doesn't exist. Maybe electricity doesn't exist. I said that. I answered that because, and that diplomat said, okay, probably you're right. So it was positive positive reaction. All it in all. Uh, we got very positive reaction from diplomats about digital certification process. So it looks like it is secure enough. It is uh, good for employee, it is good for employer. Uh, you can bring that URL or QR code everywhere and simple uh, proof your certificate. That is simple schema about that. And uh, of course, somebody uh, has to take care about beauty uh, and uh, somebody has to take care about security and servers. I have to say thanks to Yelena College web designer and Carmen Romano, administrator from Bot, from Malta. We have four offices around the world. One of offices is at Malta, one Geneva, Washington, Belgrade. Uh, that's it. Do you have any question? Please do not hesitate to ask me. Yes, please. Um, I have a question about the the transaction that we're signing. Uh, I mean, uh, it appears to me that you are the custodian of the private key, right? Uh, that is signing the yes. eventual transaction yes. that is being committed. Uh, wouldn't it make more sense if we empower, for example, the entity that wants to uh, issue a certificate to actually sign that transaction and be in control of their private key? I mean, you know, I'm Pri a big fan. Pri private key uh, of student. No, no. So of the I mean, you know, uh, there's an entity that wants to sign some uh, certificates, right? Uh, yes. For, for a certain course, for example. Okay. Um, it appears to me that you are the ones that are signing that. Uh, company private key. Company private key. Yeah. Uh, this is the company. Private company key. private key, not mine. No, 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 no. This company private key. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. At this moment, I am in the office. Okay. They can call me to put that USB. Uh, but it is not mo my uh, uh, private key, it is company private key. And we signed that certificate with company, yeah. public and private key, yeah. Yeah, but, but it's the company's, uh, not the entity, right? Yes. I see. Yes, yes, yes. Because this looks like centralization, which is, you know. Yes, but how, how, how to solve in other way? Uh, maybe, uh, it is good solution for us at this moment, definitely. But future, uh, I'm talking about that uh, because to, uh, I'm trying to spread idea about that solution. And uh, uh, a little bit, uh, maybe community uh, has better idea, maybe a new idea about how to solve that problem. Uh, centralization, not centralization, uh, etc. I'm aware of that, of course. Control from just one location is not good, definitely. But uh, how to solve that? I, I don't know. Somebody uh, has to be responsible, uh, responsible to issue certificate and to prove that process. How to solve that? It is one possible way at this moment. And it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Any other question? Yes, please. Yeah, how do you ensure the security of your company's private key? And uh, don't you fear that uh, you will lose? <laughs> it is inside office, behind locked door, behind cameras, and in the safe. It is enough for us at this moment. Why? Probably nobody knows about that. What is that? Simple small USB key. It could be anywhere in the office, actually. And we have 
numbers of uh, USB uh, USB sticks inside office at one at this moment, for example. Uh, any other procedure will be too complex for us, I think, to store that in bank or something like that. I, I, do you have any suggestion uh, about that? Uh, we have secured office with paid secure, how to say, uh, security organization. They came, in, in, in case of the problem, they came in two or three minutes in front of our door. It is good enough for us, believe me. It happened ju just one for that company to to attend during evening our uh, our office to check, but it was our colleague. They forgot to enter code. <laughs> Simple as that, and didn't answer the call from that company. But they are very fast. It is good enough for us at this moment. But uh, do you keep like uh, copies of the data stored in that uh, USB, or is it the only one copy of the? Program? We have identical copy at Malta. Okay, and this yes. is also stored on uh, yes. USB, right? Yes, yes. Because I know that USB is after a couple of years. Yes. Yes. Losing data. Yes. At Malta, our administrator is located at Malta and uh, he takes care about all backups, all servers, also about private keys, etc. And I think it is everything in day control and covered completely. Well, it's, it's back continuing on that point. Uh, have you considered multi-sig for, uh, uh, for this multiple uh, signatures? Uh, yeah, yes, it, it, it is possible, probably, yes. But uh, at this moment, we use that for VIP courses only. Uh, for example, for courses at uh, on situ at Geneva, at New York, Washington, etc. Uh, we still do not use that for all our courses. So frequency of that is we'll see. But good suggestion, definitely. That will resolve. Yes, yes, yes. Issues, right? um, thanks, thanks, thanks for. Redundancy, basically. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. It could be improved, of course. Any other? Yes. Um, are you considering using uh, segregated witness, or do you think that it has no use case for you? Not yet, but again, it is how to say better version, and. Uh, we want to display that to to our students, to to you, etc. Uh, we could improve that process. Also, I think other companies around the world think about that and try to make something useful in that area. And at one moment, we'll have good solution. It is just one of solution I th uh, solutions, I think. <coughs> but uh, it is user-friendly solution, I think. Probably the first one, user friendly. All others are at Python. I don't hate Python, please. Everything is okay. I use Python also, but uh, I cannot use Flask Python server for web. It is nightmare for me. Apache is a real solution with Drupal. You agree with me? Thank you very much. <laughs>